So look, you guys, I'm just gonna get straight into this video by bringing out my egotistical, narcissistic, narcissistic primitive, animal-like self by stating that there is no one else on YouTube that is producing better systems building content for how, helping you scale your agency. But that's what this channel is all about. And, and, and there's no other agency owners on YouTube who are you know, transparently and consistently sharing their profit and loss statements from their agency to prove to you that what they're teaching you is actually coming from a legitimate source of experience. All right, animal self aside, I'm making this video because I wanna show you a simple hiring automation that I built to help reduce communication creep that was starting to occur in our hiring process. Now here's some context on this system. All right, the objective of this system is to increase the throughput of our turnaround time for, for hiring someone. I, I've told you guys many times in previous videos, our biggest bottleneck in our agency is hiring someone. I think if we're gonna get to 200, $300,000 per month in the next like 12 to 24 months, we really need to solve this bottleneck. So the objective, as I said, is that, and the reason we decided to build this system is we had too many repeat questions between um, our, our recruiter and us and uh, lack of awareness for our, for our recruiters on where applicants are in the stage of our hiring process. And that caused major communication issues where there was somebody that we had sent an offer to and then there was miscommunication in that process and the recruiter that we work with actually reached out to that applicant and said that we, you know, I, we weren't interested. And that was a huge red flag and I was like, whoa, this is on us, this is our fault, so let's build a system and fix it. This thing took less than 24 hours to build and let's get straight into it. So. You should be seeing my screen. Now this is a form that I built that our recruiter is now going to submit when they find a new applicant. Okay, brilliant. When they submit this form, it's going to go into a Slack channel. Now you're gonna see this recruiter bot. We got a legendary recruiters channel. We only have one recruiter in there right now. We're thinking of, uh, of bringing on a second recruiter. And uh, it's gonna say new applicant found, recruiter Gary, first name, Johnny Bravo, uh, email, etc. And this is all the information we need. Expected salary range, years of experience with Amazon ads. And this is great. This is the information that we wanna see. Now what was happening before we had this is the recruiter that we have, who's absolutely amazing, um, she would basically say, hey, I found this person and um, here's some information about them, but it was never consistently the exact information that we wanted to see. And so we built this simple form and that solves a lot of issues. Now, also what happens is Mr. Johnny Bravo, who got sent to this uh, Asana board, which we're calling the AE Talent Pipeline. So as you can see, all the information from that survey is also that also put into Asana for us. And then this is our basically our hiring talent pipeline. Brilliant, beautiful. Now this is gonna be better for us because it's easier for us to track our processes. Also what happens is we have a list of things that we need to do, right? So this is our basically our hiring process. We review the applicant, we conduct the first interview, second, third interview, we have a call with our leadership team reviewing the applicant, we get the personality test, then we do reference checks, and then we do a, a call again where we finalize an offer that we're gonna to present to this applicant, then we present the offer, okay? The stages are pretty straightforward. We have applications, the pretty much exactly what I said here, offer, debate, offer, sent, hired, rejected, back burner, et cetera. I'm gonna try to blur out some of the names. But that is very simple. Now the zap for that form is here. I'm gonna to get to that in just one second, okay? But what's even cooler is the issue of the recruiter not knowing who uh, was in what stage. So they would send a bunch of, uh, our recruiter at KCSU would send a bunch of applicants, and then what would happen is like, she wouldn't really know what stage they were at, so she would ask us like, hey, how's it going with Johnny Bravo? And we'd be like, oh, uh, this, we're, we're doing this, etc." And that caused a lot of uh, just communication creep, right? That doesn't scale. So what we did is we built a simple Zap automation that uh, notifies the legendary recruiter channel of the applicant status changes in our AE talent pipeline. What this does, let's go into Slack here, is it'll basically say, um, hey, Johnny, uh, the recruiter bot will say, hey, applicant Johnny Bravo has been sent an offer. So when Mr. Johnny Bravo here enters the offer stage of our pipeline, so if uh, you know I come in here and I move him to offer sent, that automation is gonna trigger and it's gonna send into our Slack channel here, which is brilliant, and uh, that is going to notify the recruiters that you know this person has been sent an offer. Great, the next thing is the major win alert. That is if we actually hire someone. So if an offer is accepted, pretty straightforward, we're gonna move the offer sent to the hired section of our uh, AE talent pipeline, and it's gonna send that message. And the last thing here is the applicant Johnny Bravo gets rejected. 
This is also very important because this is the most common one where we'll reject someone. And it says that we will send a rejection reason shortly. This is to give feedback to the recruiter and this is on us to tell them why we reject this applicant so that they have better context as to what we're looking for and they can you know, get better at uh, recruiting the proper applicants, okay? So this, very simple, but revolutionizes the communication between the recruiters and us, and we save so much time. Uh, we also are able to deliver a better experience for the recruiters, a better experience for our team internally, a better experience for the people that we're interviewing. Everything across the board is exponentially better uh, with a simple, with a few simple, you know, automations through Zapier, Asana, and uh, Incognito form. Okay, now here's the zaps, and I wanna show you how these things are built. I'm not gonna go super in depth because it's very simple, but it's a two-step zap, if you can believe it. So step number one is there's a trigger. This is for you know the, the zap that notifies them when uh, you know the applicant changes status within the pipeline. So the trigger here is just that when this uh, what is it? Setup trigger. Mm, where is it? App event. It's an update ta task in project. So when a task is updated in a project, a project in Asana is the A talent pipeline. A task is Mr. Johnny Bravo here. And uh, when this task gets dragged over to this column here, that that's this task is then updated. And and a simple movement like this triggers this uh, automation. Right. That's that's what this does. Now, there's three conditions that can run here. Applicant has been sent an offer, applicant has been hired, and applicant has been rejected. So, pretty straightforward. If we come in here and we look at the rules of this automation, uh, it only continues if data membership exactly matches offer sent. So, if this means, if, if, if this automation sees that I dragged this column from third interview into offer sent, great, it's going to pass this step number one, which is like a filter, and it's going to move on to action number two, which is going to send the channel uh, message into Slack. I'm not gonna go through the rest. That is literally the same for the rest of those three. Okay, now the final thing here is the, uh, of course, the submission of the form. Now that's also very simple, nothing complicated here. The trigger is, of course, when the form gets submitted. So when someone actually submits something through the form, that is the trigger of this zap. So a recruiter submits application, it then creates a card in Asana, and then alerts. Uh, an alert gets sent to the legendary recruiter Slack channel. So yes, we have created a trigger that, uh, you know, trigger submits, what uh, happens, occurs when someone submits the form. Then we create a task in Asana, add new AE application to the AE talent pipeline, ignore this name, this is incorrect. Then we create the subtasks. These are the, 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 the process of our hiring. So as you if, you, if you remember, I was showing you here, these are the, the tasks that are within this I guess you could call it, these are the subtasks within the task that we need to go through as we go through this hiring process. And um, it's beautiful because Alex gets assigned, Alex is the person who does the first step of the hiring process. He's gonna review the applicant, so this is gonna pop into his Asana uh, the moment that this person you know, is registered into our system, et cetera. And then of course the final step is to send a Slack message into the channel, basically outlining that information that I talked about, which is right here, applicant found um, Mr. Johnny Bravo. So ladies and gents, uh, that in itself is this very simple automation that is going to save a lot of time, deliver a much better experience and prevent issues that I talked about in the beginning of this video that are dead deadly issues that could prevent you from being able to add someone that is brilliant to your team right because i talked about that miscommunication between us and the recruiter which led to you know basically the recruiter telling the applicant that like hey uh, i heard that they're not interested when we were actually we just presented an offer like the next day or the day before so Amazing, get good at building simple systems. This stuff is not hard, Zapier, Asana, I mean Zapier is literally a cakewalk, a preschooler could learn it, it's not hard at all, it's literally common sense, okay? Some you Googling, some YouTube videos, and, and you'll know how to do it in a heartbeat, all right? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this narcissistic, egotistical, animal-like intro, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit every button there is that benefits the channel. That would be very much appreciated. And I'll do my best to make more entertaining YouTube videos on how to scale 
your agency. All right, I love you guys. Much love, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.